Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and asked for some help. And incredibly, it traces really, really good. So I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to go to bitmap. And there's two ways to look at it. You can make it black and white, but I'm just going to show you that this works pretty fast. I am using Corel 2020, so it supposedly does a better job. And on this example, it, it does a great job. And I'm going to show you another way if you can't get it traced very well. There's another way. This is a this would be a very easy logo to uh, start from scratch and just make it. And it's already done. And I'm going to see how big this is. And it's 14, so I'm going to change my nudge factor to 15. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to move it out of the way. And the trace is incredible. I've never seen text trace like that. Now, the circles are a little bit off, maybe. But this would be really easy to make it engravable. So we're going to put a background of yellow so you can see it. Go to order, back of paint. And we need to get rid of that white. And there are several ways to do that. I'm going to delete this one right now. And the easiest way to get, because I'm going to have to break it apart, ungroup and ungroup it. So now all these letters are separated. So we're going to just go to edit, find and replace, edit query on 2020 or 19. Some of them are a little bit different. We want a uniform fill. I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to move this box over a little bit. And I'm going to check right here and go down to the eyedropper. And I'm going to get that white. And I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to go have find all. And then I'm going to hit the delete key. It's already almost there. Now, we need to make a decision what we want to do here. I would make this black. This is called reverse engraving. And I would make this black. Or vice versa, you could make these black and this wall, this clear. But since it's got that circle, so now we need to do basically the same thing on, and I see a little bit of problem, and you see a little bit of trace, but that would be really easily fixed. So the, the um, inside of the letters, we're going to go ahead and take out just because they're a different shade of color. And thankfully, there's not that many of them. You can see just a little bit of variation in the colors. And, you know, I never know what people are wanting to do or how they want to do it. So we're doing that good. So we're going to go to Edit Query. And we're going to double click on the uniform fill. We're going to go right here and we're going to get the eyedropper. And we're going to get this turquoise. Hit OK. Find All and hit delete. Now it got rid of our inside of our circles. So what we could do before we did that, we need to, let me get rid of the yellow background for just a second. And I can't really click on that, but I'm gonna left click, right click in red right now on all the ones that are like that. Matter of fact, I might even try to do the whole text like that. I'm gonna left click, Right click. And now we need to bring our yellow box back in. And just make a yellow box. Go up to object and order. Put back a page. And you can see that our text is pretty good, but our now what we need to do is take our smart fill tool. First of all, we need to find out what black this is. It is an RGB black, just solid black. So we can grab our smart fill tool with solid black and we can fill in these spots and make it engrave. Uh, there's just, just a few of them, so it won't take that long. Just all the spots. And if you notice, the only thing we... Now, if you are not going to cut this, you wouldn't have to worry about those hairlines. But if you're going to have any kind of cutting, you would need to grab it all and right click no outline. That's pretty much done. Whoop. Trying to grab the yellow. 
So it's transparent, it'll engrave like that. Now, like I said, the, the uh, circles themselves are a little bit messed up, you know, like right here where the trace is. But we could do this, we could grab our black circle and it's got the lines. So that might be a little bit of a problem. But let's try this. Let's uh, left click, no outline. We'll right click in black this time. We actually need to move this out of the way, grab all these other inner parts and left click, right click. Whoop. Now we have the inside of those circles. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this circle and I'm going to delete it and see what happens. Well, that didn't work. We're going to have to go to object and break curve apart. This circle is 14.472. So what I'm going to do for a second, I'm going to group this together, control G and hit it, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm going to take this circle and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to make another ellipse that is 14 point, I can't remember what this circle was, 14.472, 14.472. And now I'm going to just hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now this will take a little bit of work, but it'll be really worth it. The inside circle looks pretty good, but since we're here, let's go and do it too. Grab the inside circle, nudge it over. It is 10.437. I'm gonna use this, well, I'm just gonna draw another circle. So remember, 14, 14, no, 10.437. 10.437. And hit enter. And then we can just take our smart fill tool and fill that in. Now we will have to fill in the insides of the letter. Uh, there actually might be a quicker way to do that, but, and, uh, but this is so fast. There are a few more on this top than we had. And it would really help if you zoom in and uh, to make sure you get them all. But this is called a reverse engraving. And I missed, something's missing right there. We'll look at that in a second. There's a letter or two missing. I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. That's what I'm. That's what I did right there. I filled in the wrong letter. I filled in the wrong part of the letter up there because I didn't have it zoomed in. So let's go back to those parts that are filled in and click on it and left click, no fill, and then fill in the P. Same thing up top. I just hit the. That's why you'd really want to zoom in, just hit that letter, probably an A, left click, and then take your Smart Field tool and fill that in. Now, we're gonna group this together, Control G. We're gonna hit P just in case. Hit P just in, make it like that. Let's see how, what it looks like. That's really the, the finished product. Looks pretty good, I mean, it's, it's nice and clear. Now your circles are perfect. You know, we've lost that edge that was rough. Uh, you could really do the same thing with this circle, but depending on how big it is, if it's not very big. But let's say it doesn't trace. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to draw this one from scratch because it would be really easy. So it'll be part two. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.